I'm Jenny, and I established Life of Polyps because I have two rare diseases, female and nervous polyposis, or FAP, and short bowel syndrome. Now, FAP is an inherited colon cancer syndrome. It is a rare disease. It causes hundreds to thousands of precancerous colon polyps to start at a young age, and without colon removal at some point, they will turn cancerous. So I started this diagnosis and experience with FAP at a young age. I encountered medical gaslighting and dismissal from doctors who refused to treat me, to test me. And so by the age of nine, I, after having my diagnosis and my colon polyps were starting to turn cancerous, I had my first surgery. I experienced complications and I would go on in my years to end up having eight surgeries so far related to FAP and the complications I experienced. Along the way, I developed medical PTSD. I had severe depression and anger. I was isolated. I didn't know people outside of my family with FAP and for a while without even an ostomy. I lived with an ileostomy for six years in between uh, surgeries. And so I struggled a lot. Um, I finally got to meet others with ostomies, but they were older than me at the local ostomy support groups. In high school, I got connected with the youth rally and I got to meet people my age with ostomies and similar conditions. And one person who had FAP that was outside of my family, but I still struggled. And so in high school, I started mental health counseling that helped change my life as I started to process my medical trauma and learn healthy coping skills. I still struggle with depression off and on, and I still attend mental health counseling to help me with that. And between all these things, I got down to the road to not only was I going to professionally help others navigate and cope with their medical experiences, but by establishing Life's Apollo, I'm doing that in my personal time too. And that is my passion. That is what gives me purpose is helping others to educate and empower others so that they can navigate their medical experiences and get the care that they need and deserve. Be aware of their conditions, teach others about it, and advocate for themselves. Because that's what it all comes down to is how much we have to advocate for ourselves to get the care we need to help us get through each of these experiences the best outcomes that we can physically and emotionally. And that's what Life's Apollo does. This is what his focus is. I have used it also to help establish an FAP research fund with Nord. And the goal right now is to get that fully funded so we can get more research with the intent that one day, maybe we won't have to have colon removal for FAP patients. Maybe we can prevent that altogether. And there's a lot of other things that go on with FAP. But that tends to be where it starts is, is with the colon. So that's our primary focus right now with that fund. I have also written a children's book called Life's Apollo with Zeke and Katie about FAP to help children learn about it if they have it themselves or a loved one and what to expect, what the possibilities are. And with the online community that is now available, not just for rare disease, but mental health and chronic illness and ostomies and just all kinds of different things. It is powerful. It has helped teach me life in life to accept myself and love myself. These are things that I struggled with for years. I did not have because I hated myself and my body and my ostomy and I hated the world. But through the loving embrace of so many people throughout the world who I've been the honor, been given the honor to connect with, to share my story with and hear their stories, it's been life changing for me. And I want everyone to know that you are not alone. I thought I was alone. And for a long time, I really was. But we have so many options now. And we're here. We will embrace you. We will support you. We will walk you through things. And just reach out because even with the rarest disease, there's others who can relate and who will want to support and walk you through that as well. So even if it's not the exact same condition, there's a community here for you. Just reach out. We're here. We love you. We support you.